before uh, the lockdown, I had um, a mental health issues, so I had a, a breakdown and I was diagnosed with bipolar and general anxiety disorder and part of the general anxiety disorder is a sort of agoraphobia around leaving the house. When Covid happened, when lockdown hit, it was really like re-experiencing uh, my breakdown um, because it, it really sort of resembled what had happened the first time but even even like though it wasn't me sort of creating it, it was externally sort of um, put upon me. A lot of the things that I went through when I had the breakdown, it sort of felt like it was all happening again and it became very easy to internalise that and feel like I was sort of, you know, becoming unwell again um, and you sort of almost start to blame yourself. Um, and what, what sort of two, two things that I had to really sort of become aware of, um, firstly was sort of because of the bipolar, when anything traumatic happens, you can think of it as like an elastic band and it sort of gets pinged and everything sort of zings like that. And it takes a little bit of a while for it to sort of calm down again because you sort of have ups and downs. And so they sort of became quite sort of intense and more frequent at first, but then it settled. And that you had to, I had to sort of remind myself like that, that's quite normal for someone with my condition. Um, it's not me, it's the, the situation. All of my positive coping strategies that I had built up over the years in terms of um, making sure I was leaving the house regularly, doing healthy exercise, going swimming, meeting with friends, doing some volunteering, um, I couldn't do any of them anymore. They were all sort of closed off to me. And that made it very easy to sort of become quite sort of locked into quite a small um, kind of comfort zone. And you don't really realise that you're in a comfort zone until you try and leave it. You know, we didn't have masses of green space nearby and, and even that, the little park that we do have, it was very full of like dog walkers and kids after school. So it was very, very stressful. And so it's been a, a real, real trial and error to try and learn how to find new positive coping mechanisms to sort of challenge the agoraphobia. Um, to make sure it's not sort of, you know, artificially holding me indoors more than I need to. Because particularly as, as cases started to sort of drop off and the summer started to come out, I realised, you know, like friends and things were starting to sort of engage with the world a bit more and I was really struggling with that. So I had to make sure I took advantage of being outside, being in the sunshine, being in, in nature. The colour green, it's amazing how that makes you feel being surrounded by all these different shades of green and textures and the smells of the trees and the grass, it really makes you feel human again.